ever pondered about the role of international financial institutions in shaping the world economy, specifically, the International Monetary Fund or IMF. For those who haven't, the IMF is a vital cog in the machinery of our global economy. Its purpose is to ensure the stability of the international monetary system, the system of exchange rates and international payments that enables countries and their citizens to transact with each other. Why is this a topic of interest you ask? Well the IMF's decisions and policies directly impact economies worldwide, affecting everything from national GDPs to the individual's pocket. It's like a global financial watchdog keeping an eye on economic trends and providing advice and assistance to its member countries. Understanding the IMF helps us grasp the complexities of the global economy and the intricate interdependencies that bind us all. So, are you ready to uncover the top 10 facts about the IMF? Stay tuned. Jumping right in, fact number one, the IMF, or International Monetary Fund, was established in 1944 during the Bretton Woods Conference. This was a time when nations were looking for ways to rebuild a world ravaged by the Second World War. The aim was to create an organization that would ensure the financial stability of the world, preventing economic crises from spiraling into global conflicts. Moving on to fact number two. The IMF has a massive membership base. As of today it boasts 190 member countries, that's virtually the entire globe barring a few exceptions. It's a testament to the universal recognition of the IMF's role in steering the world economy. And finally, fact number three. The IMF's primary purpose is to maintain global financial stability. It does this by monitoring member countries' economic health, providing financial assistance when needed, and offering guidance on economic policy. Quite fascinating, isn't it? But there's more to come. Fact number four. The IMF's resources are provided by its member countries, primarily through payment of quotas. Each of the IMF's 190 member nations contributes funds in proportion to their economic size. This quota system is key to the IMF's function, as it forms the backbone of its financial resources. On to fact number five, let's talk about special drawing rights, or SDRs. These are international reserve assets that the IMF created in 1969 to supplement member countries' official reserves. This essentially means the IMF can provide countries with money in times of need, without the need for a physical exchange of currencies. Lastly, for fact number six, we delve into the IMF's governance structure. It's designed to ensure broad representation of member countries. The IMF is run by its member countries through a complex structure involving a board of governors, an executive board, and the managing director. Still with us? Let's move on to the next set of facts. Fact number seven. The IMF provides financial assistance to countries to help them address balance of payments problems. When a country is unable to pay for essential imports or service its debt, the IMF steps in as a lender of last resort. It's a global safety net of sorts. Moving on to fact number eight. The IMF also serves a critical surveillance function. It monitors the economic and financial developments of its member countries and offers advice on potential risks and policy adjustments. Fact number nine highlights the IMF's commitment to capacity development. The organization provides training and technical assistance to help countries strengthen their ability to manage their economies effectively. Finally, fact number 10, the IMF is a collaborative organization. It is made up of 190 member countries, all working together to foster global monetary cooperation and secure financial stability. And there you have it, the top 10 facts about the IMF. Let's recap. So, what have we learned about the IMF today? We've unpacked quite a bit. We've discovered that the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, isn't a bank but an organization of 190 member countries, working together to foster global monetary cooperation, that it was birthed from the ruins of World War II, with the Bretton Woods Agreement serving as its cradle. We've also learned that the IMF's primary goal is to ensure the stability of the international monetary system, and it does so by monitoring, advising, and providing financial assistance when necessary. Importantly, we've explored how special drawing rights, or SDRs, function as a global reserve asset, and the IMF's role in poverty reduction. We went over the controversies too, and how the IMF's stringent conditions have sometimes faced criticism. And that wraps up our deep dive into the International Monetary Fund. Remember, knowledge is power, and you've just powered up. Until next time.